Hello everybody, welcome back to another Farming Simulator 22 mod preview. Today we're going to take a look at the buildable feedlot pack. But before that, this video is brought to you by Coulier Farms and Farm Alls Forever. Thank you for being farm barons. So the buildable feedlot pack will soon be coming to the farming simulator.com website or the in-game downloadable content menu, ideally for all platforms, from a good friend of the channel, Schultz Modding. And what is this? Well, this is a pack that allows you to build a feedlot that is capable of holding up to 1,000 cows. That's right, 1,000 cows. Cows. We get the cow pen, which is located right here. We get a multiple set of fences and gates and a couple decorative objects. We have the ability to obviously put straw and food in here. We also have triggers for slurry and manure. If we put down a manure heap or a slurry storage tank, we'll be able to collect slurry and manure from there. We have the ability to activate a little hash area here to kind of show you where the animal nav mesh is. And then this will enable you to better place your fence around the area if you're looking to fence the area in. So let's go ahead and see what all is available in the build menu. So if we go to animals cows we're going to have the buildable feedlot pack cattle pen it is a thousand dollars i'm sorry a thousand cows twenty five thousand dollars and we rotate this 360 degrees on center and when we are placing it we have the hash that is going to basically show us where the animal nav mesh is located so if we just put this down just like that then we come over here to decoration and under fences, we have multiple fence options to pick from that are a part of this pack. We have this fence, which is has a wooden post associated to it. We have the metal fence here. We have another fence. This one has solid paneling and then we have different gates. Put it on this side. So we have a gate that matches up with the wood posts. We have a gate that matches up with the steel fence. And a gate that matches up with the steel fence with a solid back on there. Then if we go up to others, we have a tire tank. Now this setup, we do not have to supply water. It will auto water. But this is just a visual tire tank with a water plane on it. If we want to do that and then we have a loading chute that is just a decorative object it doesn't actually have a loading trigger associated with it but we can have that there so we can really ultimately build out our animal area exactly how we want it and make it look however we want it so here we've got our gate our fence with post We have just our metal fencing. And here we have our metal fencing within the solid panel. Now I positioned this backwards just so that we would have the gate all kind of swing in the same direction, but you kind of get the point there, right? Here we have our tire tank, and then our loading chute. And really, it's designed so you can build it out however you want. Once you build out your fence, you can come over here to the explanation mark. Left click to hide the grid. We have our food trough and our straw trigger located right here. Then we have our buy point delivery point for our cows located over here. And again, this facility will hold 1,000 cows. Now we will have to buy them in 60 cow increments. But we will be able to buy 
60 cows at a time. Just like that. There we have 180 cows all in this particular area. Of course, we can continue on however we should so wish. We come up here to our animal area. You're going to see that we have Angus, Holstein, and now Limousine cows. We filled both the Angus and Holstein up with straw. 175,000 liters of straw is what this will hold. And then 1 million liters of total mixed rations. So this pen has a capacity of 1 million liters. So you'll definitely be able to hold 1,000 cows without too much issue whatsoever. You can see a setup where I have the loading chute, sun defense. And then I've got another setup over here where I put in a gate at the loading chute or at the trigger. In the end, it's kind of up to you on how you want to build this all out. But we have a buildable Speed lot again by Schultz modding and going to give you the ultimate flexibility. If you like to have big cow farms without a whole lot of land taken up, we've seen open pasture areas in the past, free range cow areas, if you will, they take a very large space. And none of them that we've seen to date have allowed you to have as many cows as this. And you could, if you really wanted to, stack these side by side by side by side and really build out a fairly large feedlot. In order to do that, we go to animals, our cattle pen, and we'll just go ahead and put those in. Just to demonstrate while the credits run, one, we'd have to basically turn off the collision detection. And now we have a feedlot that will hold 3,000 cows. We've got three independent feed triggers, three independent animal triggers. But you could go and put a fence around all of these. And be ready to go. Just like that. So guys, let me know down in the comments below what do you all think of the buildable feedlot again by Schultz Modding coming to the Giants Mod Hub near you very, very soon.